Hello. I pray that you're well today. What does it take? What does it take for God to get your attention? The children of Israel in this book in Exodus are stuck in Egypt. They are being treated cruelly and bitterly and God is calling upon Moses to be able to speak to Pharaoh to let the people go. But he won't do it. And he brings plagues upon Egypt to get his attention. The plague of blood and the plague of frogs in chapter 8 and the plague of gnats and the plague of flies and the plague on the livestock and the plague of boils and the plague of hail. Like example, at the end of verse, at chapter 9, so Pharaoh's heart was hard and he would not let the Israelites go, just as the Lord said, said through Moses. So the idea is that Moses left Pharaoh and went out into the city and spread out his hands toward the Lord and thunder and hail stopped and the rain no longer poured in the land. But when Pharaoh saw that the rain and hail and thunder had stopped, he sinned again. He and his officials hardened their hearts. And the plague of locusts in chapter 10, and the ninth plague, the plague of darkness, and then the plague of the firstborn. The plague of the firstborn, which changes everything. You see, Moses was telling Pharaoh, let the people go, and if you don't let them go, this will happen, and he'd say, I'll let you go, and then he'd change his mind. But on chapter 11, verse 1, Now the Lord had said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and in Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here, and when he does, he will drive you out completely. He won't just let you go. He'll drive you out. Tell the people that their men and women are like to ask their neighbors for articles of silver and gold. For the Lord made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people, and Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, this is what the Lord says, after about midnight, I will go through Egypt and the firstborn son in Egypt will die, every firstborn son. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn of the female slave who's at the hand mill and the firstborn of cattle as well. And there'll be a loud wailing throughout all Egypt, worse than there ever has been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites, not a dog will bark at any person or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. All these officials of yours will come to me, bowing down before me and saying, Go, and all the people who follow you, and after that I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you so that my wonders will be multiplied in Egypt. So Moses and Aaron performed all these wonders before Pharaoh, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. He would not let the Israelites go out of his country. Then you have the Passover celebration where the painting of the doorposts with blood so that there can be freedom, that there is a distinction between Israel and Egypt. What does it take for God to get your attention? We'll see as we look at this again tomorrow what indeed does happen, but God gets Pharaoh's attention. Sometimes pain is the only thing that gets our attention. But we know that God has redeemed our pain. Just as in the Passover, that the painting of the doorposts was a protection, a protection for those who believed and, and did not have to fear, so too, you and I, in Jesus Christ, we have protection. It's Christ's pain, not our pain. I pray that God has gotten your attention on how much he loves you, how important you are, how valued you are, how significant you are. Please pray with me. Lord God, today we pray. We pray for Terry, and we pray that you give him comfort and strength during this unusually difficult time. We pray, Father, for Nicole and ask that you would bless her as she's on a ventilator in the hospital. We pray for your strength and your peace and your blessing on our lives as you speak to us clearly in your precious word. 
In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.